evening. It is Wednesday, September 22nd, and I am on my way to school. Welcome to the life of a college student. Um, you caught me at a bad time. It's actually exam week. Well, like, apparently it's exam week. It's not even like midterms or finals or anything. Just every single one of my classes is having an exam, except for one. So I have five exams this week. I've done two. I had two yesterday morning, and I've got one this morning, and then one today at five. So, that being said, I have not been sleeping. <laughs> I have not been sleeping the proper amount. I went to bed at 2 a.m. the last two nights. Well, not went to bed. Got in bed. Finished what I was doing at 2 a.m. And I wanted to wake up at least at 6.30 today to... Um, review the material that my test is on this morning but I didn't do that so hopefully I get to school just a little teeny bit exam and I think it went pretty well honestly sorry this light is making me have a really bad reflection but um, I think I left my phone in the bathroom so I don't know where to go to find it because like I went back and checked the bathroom and it's not there so um, I think I'm just gonna go I don't even know but update when I find my phone. Okay, that was kind of crazy, but I did find my phone. I found it. Thank goodness. I went <laughs> to the back to the bathroom, checked there, couldn't find it. Went to this office. There was nobody there. Found this kid on the stairs, asked him to borrow his phone, tried to do find my iPhone. That didn't work because I didn't have my phone, didn't look at the verification code. Tried to call it, nobody answered. Went back to my professor, she told me where to go. Went there, saw my phone, and I was so happy because she's like, honestly, you might just have to accept that it's gone because this happened to me one time. And I was like, oh my gosh, please no. But I found it and I changed and now we're going to the gym. I work out in the morning at home and then I do like a cardio at the gym. So today we're stepping the stairs, which is what I've been doing basically all week. I really like it. I don't know. It's fun to me. So go in stair stepping and then I'm gonna finish my video and study. Okay. I just got done at the gym. It was good. Now I'm gonna eat my lunch in the car because I don't want to carry all my food to like the library or something. So I have just this salad that I'm gonna eat and listen to a podcast. Then I'm gonna go to the library. I'm doing some studying just out here. We have a perfect little study spot. So I'm gonna study until chemistry. It's 2.13 and my class is at 3.40. So I have a while. And then my test is after my class. I've been studying basically this whole time. And it's time to go to chemistry. I just want chemistry to be over so I can take my test. Okay, it is currently 5.33. And I just finished my last class slash exam. I'm so happy because usually it's like a three hour thing because it's a lab and it just, it was only 40 minutes. Now I'm going home and I'm so excited because my stomach hurts and I don't have to stay up till 2 a.m. tonight. So I'm excited to go see my puppy. <laughs> idea what it looks like right now because it is just far too bright but it is Thursday morning and I'm going to school and I'm so happy that I don't have a test today it feels great I was supposed to wake up this morning to go have coffee with my friend 
but I did sleep in a little bit past that moment. So now I'm just going to class, and then I think after his class, his 11 o'clock class, then we're gonna go get coffee. So I'm gonna go to class, go to the gym, coffee, and then study. That's the agenda for the day. Just made it to school, and I actually am like a little bit jealous of people who have 8 a.m. classes because there's literally never parking when I get here, and it's only nine. Just got done with the microbiology, and then I'm going to the gym. Well, I'm going to the gym right now. I just finished microbiology, and then after that, I'm gonna meet up with my friend, and then I'm gonna study at the library for a few hours so that I'm not distracted. Because I feel like when I study at home, I'm just a little bit too distracted, a little bit too not paying attention, and I really need to pass this test because I do not want to take this class over again. And I feel like if I start off on a bad note, that's not a good. Um, a good place for me to start so I need a pass and it's tomorrow I just finished my cardio but I feel kind of bad because my mom tried to call me and my campus just has terrible service so like it cut out and so I just kind of hung up and I tried to text her but it won't send so now I'm gonna go to the library really fast because there's only one spot in the whole, at my whole school that I know that I will always get service and that's on the sixth floor of the library. So I'm going to the library really fast so that that text can send and that I can post on my Instagram and stuff that my video posted because I can't even see my video or anything on YouTube right now. So I'm gonna go get service really fast before I meet up with my friend because his class gets over in like 10 minutes. And he has a long way to walk anyways, so. Oh no. I forgot to update the vlog for a while. I went with my friend and where we were going was closed. So then I just came home and I've been home for like an hour now and I'm studying chemistry. Good morning, happy Friday. It is almost 10 and I just got ready. I slept in today till like 8. 8.15, that's what I usually do on Fridays because I only have one class and it's at 3.40 and today that's the one that I have the test in so uh, this morning I'm just going to eat breakfast, uh, go over a little bit more stuff for my test, make sure I got it good and then I think I'm going to go to school early just so sorry my camera died but I was just saying I'm going to go to school a little early so that I can go to the gym before my test and then I also want to go to a craft store because I have some supplies that I'm going to buy because I am surprising Jonathan for his birthday and going to Utah and I am making him this book type thing. You will see. Um, I think it's safe for me to say this because this can go up next Thursday and I'm going there on Thursday. I'm doing another practice exam for chemistry. I just took one that I did last night. So now I'm doing one that I haven't done yet to see what I would get. Currently at Hobby Lobby because I am getting supplies, hopefully. Hey, I was in the Hobby Lobby for what feels like an eternity, but I got everything. I'm excited. And now I'm going to school. My test is in an hour and 20 minutes, so I need to get there. So then I'm early, go over my stuff a teeny bit, and then I just got to school. I'm going to take my exam. It is 325. So I just want to be a little early so that I can start on time and I have till five. Then afterwards I'm going to the gym to get to my cardio. Then I'm gonna go home and work on my project for Jonathan. And I'm really excited. I just finished my exam. I'm you can't really tell, but I'm like kinda of shaking. I think that um did okay. I definitely did put a random answer on one question because I had no clue. And you know, it's okay. I did what I could, so I just have to accept whatever I got. So that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for coming along with me through my little few days, little college student life, you know. Um this was probably the most stressful week so far of school so thank you you honestly did make it better it makes it so much better i feel like i'm not by myself i'm not alone i'm sure some of you guys are doing college and stuff too so 
thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week surprising Jonathan for his birthday I'm so excited okay um you thought I was gone but I'm back I just wanted to say one more thing I just wanted to say that if you're nervous or something or like because I was like super duper stressing about this test I mean granted I don't know what I got yet but I was really nervous and um I'm just saying if you're ever nervous or something just it's not gonna be as bad just get prepared for it and just do it don't be nervous just do whatever it is that you have to do if it's something that you don't want to do that you know you have to do or something that you do want to do but you're just scared just do it you know because it's gonna happen either way so just go into it with a good mindset and it'll be fine because it's gonna happen no matter what so that's all I have to say. Now I'm leaving for real. Bye. See you next Thursday.